I see. A puzzle piece, yay. Oh, there goes Hank Aaron face. Hello, Mr. Aaron. Hey there, y'all. Bunkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So I got here a stack of packs. These are 1986 Leaf baseball cards. You know, I've been trying to get my hands back on some, some of these packs at a good price for a little while now. And, you know, I kind of lucked out, found a stack of packs, uh, one of the online auctions. And you know what? I, I loaded up. I got four packs here. I got a few more on the side. Uh, there may be one or two that end up going into my Shopify store. Not sure exactly. And uh, I'm getting ready to head to a couple of card shows over the next month or two here in Jersey. A uh, couple that I found out about. One that's kind of local. Goes every two weeks. Supposedly, they there's a couple people that show up there every couple months with some vintage packs. So I, I'll keep y'all posted. And I'll probably do a video as I'm... As, I, as I'm going through one of the card shows or anything like that. Anyway, let's get to ripping some packs here. Now, 1986 Leaf, just like 1986 Donruss, okay? Same exact stuff, except a shorter set. And they got Leaf on it, and they got more like Canadian, Canadian Canada stuff about it. So, more more like Blue Jays and other Canada, Canada Canadian stuff. Um, the highlight, PSA 10, is the Fred McGriff rookie. Now, in a PSA 10 slab, you're talking somewhere over 1200 bucks on a 10, okay? The Andre Galarraga, also very high up there, almost 600 bucks in a PSA 10 slab. The Nolan Ryan, somewhere around three. The Ripken, somewhere around a buck 50. The Gwynn, the Strawberry, the Henderson, all over 100. Pete Rose, George Brett. So all the same players, all well, many of the same great players that you know from uh, from Donruss, they're going to be in this Leaf set also. Now, the cool thing to me is even if it's a McGriff in a 9, it's still somewhere around 95 to 100 bucks. And that's in a 9. So not bad there. Uh, recent sale of a 9 not too long ago. Uh, well, let's see. That was September 11, 2023 by Four Sharp Corners. Of course, everything is Four Sharp Corners of Probstein, but Four Sharp Corners had $96.87. And a couple months before that, Probstein 123 had one at 43 bucks. Now, in April of 2023, Probstein had the 10 at 12.25 that sold. So that's $1,225. That, that, that's crazy high priced. Anyway, let's get ripping here. Let's see what we find. I think we're going to find some great stuff. There's going to be a McGriff in every pack. Stay tuned. All right, let's see. I got some frappers on the side here. I got some top loads on the side here. We got pack number one. Good to go. Now, good thing, of course, is that there's no gum. That's a good thing. They got these puzzle cards. So let's see. Ooh. That's an ugly one down at the bottom, although, see like that chipping right there? I wonder if that's just like pack wax. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's Vita Blue, but we'll get to that. So I'm going to hang on to those packs also. The empty packs, some people put value in, I, I, I guess. So I try to keep them nice. Okay, we're starting off with Bob Boom. Mark Gubikza. Jay Howell. Okay. Well, I hope the centering gets better as we go. Well, no. Rick Russell, that centering is really bad. That's ugly. Cecil Cooper. Juan Samuel. Kent Herbach. Bryn Smith. Canada. Na, 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 na. ODB McDowell. ODB. ODB. Herman Winningham. Herm. Ripken. All right. Well, that's nice. I mentioned that one earlier on, but that's definitely not a nine. Take a look at that centering there. That's horrible. But still, that that's a very nice card. Nice hit, I'd say. Hall of Famer. And we got Vita Blue. Now, yeah, that, that was actually not wax. That's like a 
ding on the back of the card and goes all the way through. So that's not cool. Anyway, let's get the Ripken into a Farappa. And maybe I'll top load this one. And may, maybe. Maybe. Uh, you know what? I'll top load it later. Because it's not a 10. Not, not close. Look at the centering there. That's not good. All right. Get pack number two open and going. See who we got in here. Ooh, and that's got a ding back also. I wonder if there's going to be a common thread with these. Well, it is what it is. These have traveled many miles through many years. Got Johnny Ray. All right, Pete Rose, Diamond Kings. King Donruss, King of Kings card. Very nice. That's the Donruss Diamond Kings. Very cool. Eh, not that bad centered there. Got Dave Parker. Johnny Franco. Harold Baines. I should probably put him in a frapper or two. Atlee Hammaker. Dave Dravecki. Ron Romanick. Goose, Goose Gossage. Just pulled a bunch of really nice Goose Gossage cards in some uh, 1979 Topps Burger King packs. Sammy Khalifa. Ted Simmons and Nate Smell. Nate Snell. That's the one with the nasty rip dinging back. All right, let's get these into some frappers here. Got the Goose. Badly centered. Looks like he's flying away there. Okay, got Harold Baines, Donruss Diamond Kings, and then we got the King of Kings, the Pete Rose card. Very nice there. All righty, let's get to pack number three here. I'm running low on frappers here. Do I have another stack? I think I have another stack on my table. I mean, people, people make short work of my scissors, but they usually leave my frappers alone. All right, let's see who we got in here. I see a puzzle piece. Yay. Oh, there goes Hank Aaron face. Hello, Mr. Aaron. Starting off here with Rick Sutcliffe. Tim Bertsass. Bertsass. Alan Trammell. Well, that's probably the best centered card I've seen so far. Bill Duran. Not Duran Duran, just Bill Duran. Floyd Rayford. So we have Duran Duran and Pink Floyd. Okay. Kirby Puckett. Nice. That's nice. Uh, not too badly centered. Well, you're just going to get a frapper. Dave Steeb. Great underrated pitcher from the 80s. Kirk Gibson, Dave Rosema, Mickey Hatcher, and Roger McDowell. All right, let's see. I got the Kirby Puckett. Yeah, no, that's not too nicely centered. Come on, cut me some slack, Jack. It's not bad, but you know, it's not bad at all, but not, not, not perfectly centered. Oh, yep. All I had to do was reach, and I got another pack. So let's get this pack of frappers open here. Because I got at least this one Alan Trammell card that's got to go into a frapper, right? Right. Okay, now I got the last pack going, getting ready to go here. If you haven't yet commented or subscribed, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, be really a good day to do it. You know, it's a great day in the neighborhood, kids. Um, I definitely think you should. If I mean, I'm looking at stats and I'm seeing like 80%, 90% of the people that watch my videos don't subscribe. And they watch multiple videos. How, how does that make any sense? Come on, make some sense. Make some sense, y'all. Anyway, I definitely appreciate everybody who comments, subscribes, thumbs up, all of that great stuff. I have fun doing this. I hope y'all have fun watching and going through all of this with me. Got Mike Sosha, Rich Gedman, Cliff Johnson, Walt Terrell. Ooh, he doesn't look too happy. Mike Hargrove, Willie Hernandez, 
Dan Quisenberry, Tim Burke, Lonnie Smith, Danny Cox, Brett Butler, and Tim Wallach. Uh, well, oh well, no McGriff, no Galarraga this time. Maybe next time we'll find one or two or three of those. Who knows? Anything is possible. Not too shabby, though. Got some Hall of Famers and the King of Kings, Pete Rose. So not too, too bad. Anyway, again, hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bonkle out.